Planning your own routes with Komoot is child's play. Even complex routes can be created with just a few clicks. Today I'll show you how to plan a route using the search and highlights, how to put the waypoints in your desired order, how to influence the course of the tour with your own waypoints and how to plan sections without paths. Hello, I'm Thomas, your Autotech instructor. In my channel I explain how to use apps and devices related to outdoor and fitness. And these are the chapters of this video. Basic framework of the tour, arranging waypoints, forcing the route, off-grid planning. Let's go! First I want to create the basic framework of the tour. I choose the sport of hiking. Then I want my tour to be a round trip as I will arrive by car. Now I have already defined the basic settings for the tour. The next step is to set the waypoints. For the time being it doesn't matter whether the routing in a route planner makes sense. I'll deal with that later. As a starting point I need a parking space for my car. Alternatively, you can choose a bus stop or a train station. If I don't know my way around the place, the search of the POIs, the so-called points of interest, helps me. I click in the search mask and activate the display of parking spaces. Since I would like to start near the mine in Wettelrode, I also use the local car park. I click on it and select Start here. Now I look for other places I want to visit on my hike. Very important to me is a restaurant or a cafe for a nice break along the way. Someone recommended that the cafe at the Kunsttag is worth a visit. If I don't know where that is, I can use the search field. I type in Kunsttag and get the results. The Wald Cafe is among them. I click on it and see that it is the cafe I was looking for. Now I set it as my destination. Since I am doing a round trip I can safely ignore the name destination. So the break is already planned. There are supposed to be two castle ruins nearby. A friend of mine told me that I should definitely take a look at the two Morong's castles. So I use the search mask again. Booth ruins are displayed as search results. I select booth results as waypoints to my tour. The course of my tour still looks rather unspectacular. I need a few more places to visit. Nearby I see a POI marked as a viewpoint. I take a look at it too. My friend also told me about a huge bench and a great view. He showed me the position on the Google map. Unfortunately I can find a route to plan there on the Komoot map but there is definitely one. I click on the spot where the viewpoint is and add this point to the tour. Now the point jumps to the next pass. So it doesn't work like that. But there is a possibility in Comet to plan routes where there are no paths. This is called off-grid planning. So I first set a waypoint where I leave the market pass and another where I meet a market pass again. Find these two waypoints more easily, I switch to the satellite map and set the two points. I continue to ignore the route. Through the superimposed hiking highlights I see that I can include the Vettelrode mining trail. That should be enough for my tour. I have found enough destinations that are worth visiting. I have a car park, a place to stop and enough exciting points. In the next chapter I will bring order and structure to the route. It's always good to know where to find what you are looking for. If you are looking for instructions on outdoor navigation and fitness, then the best place to look is the Outdoor Tech Instructor channel. Have you already subscribed to my channel? Activate the bell right now and you will be informed immediately when there is something new to watch from me. The order of the waypoints does not yet correspond to my ideas. 
I would like to do the tour clockwise. This way the stop at the cafe will be more towards the end of the tour. To display I click on show waypoints. Point 6 should be my first point. I drag and drop point 6 to position 1, which is the point where I leave the pass network of the Komoot map. As point 2 I set the place where I return to the trail network. I will connect these points later. Now the viewpoint and the two castles follows. The tour already looks quite good. I change the cafe and the mining nature trail, then the order of the waypoints is correct. I'll give the tour even more polish in the next chapter. I still don't like the route of the tour. Parts of the route are on the same path. I now change this by using manually created waypoints. I can add this waypoint by clicking on the map. If the route does not fit, I move the waypoint as I showed in the last chapter. By the way, a tutorial like this is not meant to be a one-way street. I am very interested in your opinion. Do you have any questions, suggestions or criticism? then comment directly under this video. If the video helps you, let your friends know and share it with them. I can see now that the tour route up to waypoint 6 looks very good. Don't worry, I take care of the route between points 2 and 3 in the last chapter. Between points 6 and 7 I would like to take a break at a hut. Since the hut is displayed as a highlight, planning is very easy. I click on it and can add it to the tour. If such a planning point is missing, I can serve this in another way. I either create a waypoint manually by clicking on the map or I drag the route to the desired path. This also creates a new waypoint. Now my route looks really good and in a moment I show you how I connect points 2 and 3 to plan the route via Komoot Unknown Terrain. Between waypoints 2 and 3 it is not possible to plan in a direct way because Komoot does not know the existing connection. The solution is called off-grid. I have dedicated a separate video of the off-grid planning feature. It is currently displayed in the top right hand corner. You will also find the link in my video description. The result is two waypoints that are connected as a crow flies. To do this I click on waypoint 2 and remove the follow path tick. Komoot now rules in boost direction as a crow flies. I don't want this between points 1 and 2, so I go to point 1 and remove the tick. Then I have to put it back in. Now between points 1 and 2 planning is clean and between point 2 and 3 the direct connection has been drawn. If the maps allow it, I can further adjust the route there. I do this by moving the mouse over the dotted line. If the cursor becomes the index finger, I press the left mouse button and keep it pressed. I drag the cursor to the desired location and release the button. This creates another waypoint. I can also move a waypoint in the same way. If I look at my route, I am very satisfied. My start is in a car park. I have many interesting points on the tour and even a stop for refreshments. For planning I used the search and highlights, I created route points and I was still able to plan a section without routing. Complex route planning with Komoot can be so simple. For a step by step instruction of Komoot see the playlist at the top left. You can find out how to use Google My Maps in the playlist at the bottom left. And don't forget to leave your rating. I'm Thomas, your AutoTech instructor. See you next time.